Okay, hi. So where we left off the other day was we'd done some texture paint, uh, some sort of different textures, and we used some glue, some white paint, and some texture paste. And you can kind of see there what those what those textures look like. All right. And now we're going to just use some distress ink with um, just a makeup sponge. I usually have a few of these going around, and when they get a little bit funny, I throw them away. And then. Um, some acrylic paint. So I've got some acrylic paint over here that I'm going to use. You can get special crafting folk art type of paint, but I just tend to use the acrylic because I have it in my stash of stuff. Um, and you just, with the sponge and the ink, you just brush it on like this. Um, so it depends what you're what you're wanting to get, what effect you're wanting to do. You know, if you're wanting to go. So I'm going to do a little bit on each with the ink and the paint to show you what the differences are. Okay. And I'm doing sort of a brown on the, the teal just to show you how how you can kind of fully change a color if you don't have the right color paper. So now I tried it the other day with the glue and it actually comes out quite clear. Um, you almost the ink doesn't sit sit over it. So it's up to you if you like that effect. You'd maybe want to do it sort of similar colors so you don't get such a contrast. Um, and you can see there the paint only just really slightly sort of has that effect. So that's kind of some way of distressing. Then if you try a little bit of paint, okay, you can see there how you can also get that in a bit more. Okay. You see it sort of the, the paint sort of sticks a bit more onto the um onto the texture paste and onto the paint as well. So you can dab or you can brush depending on, on sort of what effect you're wanting to get. Um this will work better on the glue because it will actually cover and the glue won't repel it like it does the ink so much. You can kind of get a little bit of a better coverage if you're wanting to actually do a bit of a bit more of a cover, um, but depends on sort of the effect you're wanting, or you can just simply leave it plain. But that's sort of what that comes out like, and I will try another video later to show you how to do a full card with using some kind of texture paste. All right.